point, I'm in Ephra, and I'm going to talk down here because I don't do good with stairs. And first of all, I'd like to say I don't know what happened. It was sunny when I left Schaumburg. <laughs> so I'm hoping by the time we leave here, the clouds are gone and the sun has come to Chicago. Um, but if you have been to AMA last year and if you have been to the other meetings throughout the year, you've heard me talk about this for the last year now. We've changed the number, we've rewritten it, but we're still trying to get that gun licensing bill passed. Mm -hmm. So we, um, we're trying to get Governor Reiner to sign it this time. And once again, it passed the House. When we went to Day of Faith, we talked to all of our Congress uh, people, both in the Senate and in the House, and it passed with bipartisan support through the House, through the Senate, it's almost veto-proof. We just have a couple more to convince, but almost doesn't get us there. And once again, Governor Rahner has told us he's going to veto it. So we're hot on the trail trying to get him, trying to convince him not to veto it. So people have asked me, what can they do? And why is this so important to me? And the truth is, I've never been touched by gun violence. So people say, why are you so passionate about it? Why have you been pushing for it for a year? Why do you keep talking about it? If you've never been touched by it, and I live, like I said, in Schaumburg, it's a relatively safe community. But I've heard stories. I'm in a, in a committee where I've seen the stories, I see the news, but more importantly, who wouldn't be against it? Why wouldn't it be passionate to everyone? Who in their right mind could even defend such a law? Why? I, mean, I, I don't even understand it. What is the reasoning behind not licensing the people who sell your guns? What is the reasoning behind not having surveillance cameras and requiring someone to copy a driver's license of the person you're going to sell a gun to? What is the reason of not tracking the people you're selling the guns to? There is no reason. I don't understand. So what can we do? And right now, the best thing we can do is send a postcard to Governor Rodney. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I am making a hot mess up here. <laughs> and the bill we're fighting is 337. That's its new number. So forget the number I told you last time. And if you are on the CRS website, I hope you all are. If you're not, please become a member or please get on the website. So you should have all gotten a email from CRS with a link to the um, to this um, uh, Illinois. I forgot what it is. Anyway, it's a, a link so that you can do, send a postcard to Governor Rahner, and it costs a dollar and eighty cents, and that's to cover the postage and the printing of the postcard. It's an actual postcard, and this is what the website looks like. But the fun thing is, you don't actually have to send this postcard. There, you can change your graphic, and look, there's a bunch of different graphics. <laughs> and I made two copies, I'll pass them around, so that you guys can pick and send all different kinds of graphics. The Illinois youth, the youth in Illinois in Chicago, are the ones who designed all these different graphics. So they're the ones who are most affected by this and they're the ones who chose these graphics. So if you guys could each go, follow the link and send a postcard saying stop the violence. Let's flood his mailbox with these postcards and hopefully we can get him to change his mind about the veto or at least get those last few Senators, I think there's one senator and three representatives that we need to change their mind. Thank you.